welcome back to my channel where we're all about leveling up, elevating, and living our absolute best lives. So today's a bit of a gem of a video. Um, I know a lot of us can relate, especially if you're indigenous Ugandan and living abroad, to having to come back to due to family obligations, or um, dealing with family business, or maybe your own business that you've started, but you really want to have that connection of having um, North America or um, the Europe, but also being here in Uganda at the same time. So we're sitting down with Abe and Phyllis today at Cafe Pub, located here in Antinda. We're gonna get all into it, um, and it's a very insightful video. So grab your chai, your wine, whatever it may be, and get comfortable. Guys, so we're here with Phyllis and Abe, the owners of Cafe Pap. Can you guys tell us a little bit about uh, the cafe, what you guys do, and where you guys are located, and all that fun stuff? Yeah. So, so like Rachel said, we are have been, you know, lucky to take over the Cafe Pop business, which is under um, the company name Heritage Coffee. So, Cafe Pop, we used to think it stood for. Phyllis Abraham, Abraham and Philip. It doesn't. But uh, oh, we were told. <laughs> we were, told we were recently told that uh, it actually means praise and prayer. Oh. Um, which was obviously the foundation of <laughs> our late mom. I was so upset. Oh, just for reference, Philip is their other uh, sister, so yeah. Yeah. A P. But I actually yeah. thought that's what it was. Okay. No, yeah. It's well, praise. we we will go with <laughs> Phyllis Abraham and Philip. Because I think it carries, it carries yeah. more. But yeah, so we have three locations. Um, so today we are at the Intinda location. And then we have the first location, which opened in 2004 on Parliament Avenue. And then the other location is at Garden City. Yes, amazing. Yeah. So, and how, what, what was the first location? Parliament Avenue. Parliament Avenue. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, um, how long was it running before you guys ended up coming to, uh, to back to Uganda, essentially? He moved back in 2019 just before COVID. I moved back in December 20. Okay. So it's only it's not even a year for me. Oh, okay. A, about two years. Yeah, so I'm coming to two years, okay. like December. And um, yeah, I guess my mom opened it 2004. Oh, wow. So she ran it for 15 years, yeah. 15, 16 years before. We you guys came in to over. <laughs> so essentially, um, so just a little history behind it all. You guys were in Canada before. Was it always a plan to come back to um, end up, you know, doing like the family business, or was it always like you were going to Canada, do your own dream, yeah. pursue your own thing? Yeah. <laughs> I think we all had our own um, thing that we were going to do. Okay. But my mom always said, "You're coming back." She named the. <laughs> Parents' company heritage. Yeah. Saying, You're coming back. Yeah. So in the beginning, it's like I went to do finance, but towards like I was as I was going, I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm probably going to end up there. So I ended up going to hospitality school in okay. Switzerland for two years, um, and then that's when my mind started to like get ready yeah. to come back. When I was going to come back was the question, but I had already like decided that I'm going to come back, take over. I thought she was gonna be here, but yeah, I would say the same for me. Yeah. I think it was probably always a question of when. Um, as far as our mom uh, was concerned, I think we really stretched it. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> it was it was our dad who was like, you know, go do your undergrad, your master's okay. work, and, and he was supportive of you know of us going through with whatever experience we felt that we needed to get. Right. We did stretch it a little bit, but um, yeah, at, at the end of the day, I think we always knew that in, in some capacity, we do want to come back and support the business because we yes. wouldn't be where we are today if it wasn't, if it wasn't for, for this yeah. coverage. So do you feel like if it was um, essentially a lot of your parents kind of, whether it's subtly or not so suddenly, yeah. <laughs> saying those things in your mind? Because I yeah. feel like a lot of people um, especially like you guys came to school in Canada for university but for some of us who were like born there we yeah. still essentially have family things going on here yet I didn't know how to balance you know yeah. what I mean yeah. like I don't even know if they even realize that you'll have to at some point yeah. <laughs> take yeah. over whether you like it or not yeah. <laughs> for us it was it was subtle but still like yeah, naming the face of people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they knew exactly what they were doing. Like, I mean, you've got to be evil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, you've got to be evil. They didn't force it. My mom pushed it. about it and she made it oh, like when we'd be praying, yeah. like we pray that this place is there. She would tell us, yeah. I'm not working yeah. for me, I'm working for you, I'm working for my grandson. 
a lot of our parents say yes. that. Yeah. Like I think in the beginning you're like no, because I'm more of a creative too. So mm-hmm. Like so, I saw my life going a totally different direction, but I was not mature enough to know that I can have both. I can. Mm-hmm do what she was passionate about, yeah. passionate about now, but I can also have my creative side of things. But at that time, you don't see that. You're just yeah. like, no, this is what I want to do. Yes. And yeah. don't tell me about <laughs> restaurants. Yeah. Yeah. They, they definitely weren't aggressive about yeah. it. They definitely weren't aggressive about it. It was more like, you know, once in a while, they would put it out there. Um, and then my mom would, you know, make those comments about, you know, like, there's so much that you can bring yeah. from over there, especially yes. me. Like so, well, she did hospitality, like as her master, so it definitely applies. So I did human resource management. Yes. So she was always like, yeah. "Okay, what did you learn today? Tell me. I wanna like, I, I want to link it." And every day she would be figuring out like, so "How amazing. am I going to like what you're studying?" Yeah. But you know, when you're over there, like, you're first not, of all, like our really. adult life. <laughs> yeah was we grew up there as adults yeah. so like um to some extent we became attached yes. to the country and yes. to our friends so it's it's very hard to like picture you know what they're going through yes they're yes. not going through like it's negative but, but like what they like, need yeah. essentially from your export yeah. expertise yeah. 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 <laughs> and for example like fast forward now like when i moved back um you know the things you take for granted so I, I walked into the business and then I, there's so many things you want to improve. Yeah. But then one day I walked into the kitchen and I just saw like all these guys working and like, you know, I was just like, someone built this yeah. from scratch, <laughs> you know? So that's it's when important. some things are in hindsight, when you realize, okay, they were very subtle about wanting you to move down. Yeah. But some things you inevitably will see yourself yes, you know yes. and, and I, I had that moment one day in the kitchen just looking like you know it's been 15 plus years yes. and we you know had people who had been there from the beginning yeah it takes oh, wow, a lot to, like, <laughs> to convince people to work for you for that yeah. long. <laughs> so essentially um obviously go having gone to school abroad and like you said literally your whole adult years of growing up there uh what what did you feel like were the hardest sacrifices you had to make moving back and what do you feel like just came more naturally to you sacrifice would i would say uh, like okay we didn't have like real real family like uh, black yeah. relatives but being i was there 15 years oh wow and, yeah, <laughs> i built like a strong yeah. connection with my friends that really became family even when my dad would come visit Till this day, like we we one family. Yes. Me, that was very heartbreaking, but I was so ready to come back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like I can't do this anymore. <laughs> for example, yeah. for what reason? Yeah. Um, okay, so right after university, I got a, uh, after my masters, I went back to Toronto. I got a job for about two years at General Electric. Then I stopped uh, when my mom got sick. I left for about two years. And when I came back, I was just like, I have something I love because I hated the job I was in. He would oh. drop me to work. I would get to the, the door and I'm like, like one exit away. <laughs> Brace yourself. I'd be like, I can't. And the money was good, but that's when I realized yes. I, 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 it's really not about this. Mm-hmm. So when I came back, I obviously after my mom, my mom had passed, I was mentally exhausted, so I was like, I have to do something that I love. I have to be able to wake up in the morning yes. and, and want to live life yes. you know, and be motivated. So I ended up starting my own jewelry business, and which, that's yes, it? which I loved, <laughs> but, yeah. oh, nice, nice. <laughs> which I loved, but being in Canada, living on a startup in Toronto is, is so impossible. hard. Actually, fun fact, I had first met you yeah. at, a, at, a, at a market that I was yeah. doing when I had an accessories line, you had yeah. yours, yeah. and we had mutual friends. Yeah, we yeah. Had, in fact, you even said, because you went to the same Yeah, we went yeah, to, we school, had to the same yeah. school, yeah. yeah. So when I was doing that, I realized that I cannot live on a life start on a startup. Salary. So I had to get a, <laughs> a sales job, in which I chose in... Um, health and wellness company. Okay. I loved it, mm-hmm. but it quickly got exhausted. Like you were at work all day, then you yes. have to come home, make jewelry. 
in that life. You have to cook, you have to yeah. clean, you have to, you have to I everything. Just, <laughs> I got to a point and said, nah, I <laughs> it's, it's, it's So, what has come naturally for me is living the soft life. Soft life? <laughs> As we all love to put it in this country. Yeah, yeah, the soft life, but yeah, that was. Different. Yeah, it, yeah. It so the balance. It's, it's not really a work life yeah. balance there, it's just yeah. work. And every single, like everything you get, it's going somewhere in the bills, like yes. crazy bills. <laughs> Here you're living with your parents, like, yeah, it, it, you know, it was much. Even fun. too, like, say you don't, even the cost of rent, it's still like, yes, people do complain about Kampala, but in, even in hindsight, in comparison a, to space and maybe even location, it is not that bad. Yeah. Like being here yeah. versus there. Although there's some yeah. places where you're like, Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, the cost of living is significant. Even for like my future financial, like goals. I started to think about my financial goals and I'm like, will I be able to save what I need to save in, in this kind of setting where I get my paycheck, I have to do this, I have that to everything to, goes. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and then you're living on living on that credit card line. Yeah, like, so you're always owing back, to someone but else. in the moment you're living, but then you're like, oh, I have to pay it back. So but a lot. What about for yourself? Yeah, so I would say pretty much the same in terms of sacrifice. Like, yeah. like I said, well she was there fifteen years, I was there ten. Mm. But definitely you you grow up there. You become an adult there. You go through things over there. So the sacrifice was definitely leaving that, like your foundation. Yeah. You know, because I left uh, Uganda when I was probably 17, oh, 16, yes, yes. 17. So yeah, th there was definitely that sacrifice of like I'm leaving like a bond that yes. I've built over the last decade. Um, that's so that's on the family and friends yeah. side, but then also in terms of career yeah um, i was working a corporate job i was yes. working at uh, dell yes think you know dell. it's like a <laughs> telecom, telecom so i was working in a human resource office like fifty thousand people so many projects yeah. like um and of course like i had my days where i was like yeah you know i wouldn't mind being in, in this kind of business mm. but i you know when you know like you've affected something and there's like a clear path yeah. of your career Leaving that behind yes. to come and run, you know, three cafes and a safari lodge for someone who has been so successful and is not here anymore. Yeah. It's like, yeah, this feels yeah. like a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure. <laughs> I need to subject myself to that. So that that was that was a sacrifice yeah. and and I, I I even know it more so now yeah. having moved back. Um you know, working in UG is different. Like it's, it's a whole different whole Very game. And different. It's even more different when there's that pressure. You know, I've been told point blank by some people that yeah, you're kind of ruining your mom's business. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's but just. But in what like, way? Just, they just feel know, like yeah. One changes? bad cup of coffee and yeah. uh, oh my god, the business like, is, oh is going down. Oh my gosh! No, that's <laughs> but that's, just, that's that's the nature of that's hospitality, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just for the I, I always say like the thing about hospitality is it's it's, I mean, it's instant um, emotion. Like yeah. when things are going really well, yeah. you, know, um, you will know today. Yes. Yeah. Customers will call you, say, Oh, like this was great, blah blah and if it goes south, you will know today as well. So <laughs> you, you just have to like kind of be prepared for that. Yes. Um, but yeah, sacrifices were there but definitely not regrets. Yeah, yeah. okay, that's really good. Uh, so many people for them, are, um, may not necessarily find it easy to kind of like pick up and leave, or yeah, essentially just pick up and leave. Yeah. Is it was, was it an option at some point to be able to do a back and forth, or was it always like you have to be present, especially in the food industry? I'm assuming <laughs> it was a bit more difficult to like to, to, you'd have to constantly be here. Like it wouldn't be like maybe 50% time yeah, time I, in Canada. I would say it sounds fantastic yeah. in theory in theory i know in theory, in theory. I, I thought about it for such me a too. long time me too. but let me tell you it's not practice, in practice <laughs> i mean not. things have to make sense like yeah. if, if i i don't know like um, had a business maybe a similar business that, that we have here over there oh. um, and you can kind of split your time but at the time i was thinking i could keep my corporate job somehow and then do it like it you know in practice it just yeah. wasn't making sense yeah. and um maybe also what's important that you 
don't know at the time. In you, in working in Uganda, like we have extremely hardworking people. Yes. But um, there is a level of supervision that yes. is that is required, especially in hospitality, yes. because um, you know labor market is such that you know you try get the most out of you know might not be as qualified yes, because yes. that's just how the, the labor market yes, is yes, um, so forward. it requires I, I used to remember like my mom barely visited us yeah. like when we were in Canada and we thought selfishly we're like why, why can't here? you like why yeah. can't you take time off yeah. but literally Really one or two days Nairobi, outside the business. To go to Nairobi. Yeah. Uh, I can't do this. You can't leave these people here. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, two days? Yeah. yeah. No. Now you realize. It's to say that they, 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 they can't work at a high capacity or anything. It's just it's just the nature of business. Like yes. it's, it's a different labor. Yeah. Yes. No, I'm just, I find very, like I've noticed that it's so expensive. Like you can't because when I was in hospitality school, um, especially the kids that started from first year, I was doing my masters. Yes. Um, the kids that started in first year, the train was constant. He was there all the time. Yeah. You can't keep up with that. Yeah. So at the same time, is we also can't expect much from like too much when we've also not given them like the stuff to work with. Right. 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 The training. Right. So it's like you have to. Yeah, most of the time. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, but to be fair, I feel like maybe because I worked in like the hospitality industry yeah. for so long, I feel like it's similar abroad. Yeah. It's just easier. It's a bit quicker. Like yeah. within yeah. maybe like five years of investing yeah. constantly, yeah. then yeah. now go and, and move around yeah. and stuff. But yeah, people need a high supervision. The one, the one <laughs> example I always give is um, I remember like when we were doing our undergraduate degrees, yeah. you know, we would go and get service jobs. Yes, right? yes, yes. The business yes. is benefiting from, you know, highly educated people, like, you know, trying yes. to get money in school and things like that. And this is not the same here. Here, yeah. Right? Whether point, it's like yeah. a stigma or maybe the, the, the compensation is too low, low yeah. whatever it is, you don't get that same level of like, you know, the yeah. person working yeah. in, that, in that kind of way. So you have That's to train. True. Train like she said, train exactly. like crazy, or or try and recruit expensively. Yeah, like, I don't know. So it's it's yeah. definitely tough finding yeah. that. Uh, and us joining in this climate with COVID and stuff like that, because we that we don't have that disposable income. Yeah, so, like, we have to work. With what yes, we have. what you have. Yeah. yeah. So for me, that has been one challenge. Is that you can literally you can interview someone they're so good we're like yes yeah. this person is going to change our lives you can go to Cassese for two weeks and then they're like ah oh, we want this much and they're like yeah, yeah. I'm out of the budget yeah. <laughs> like this is but the sacrifices much. you have to make and, yeah. yes which is understandable yeah. but generally speaking the experience of um, like training and like uh, supervising employees and working yeah. with employees in comparison to maybe in Canada maybe when you had managers roles wherever yeah. you worked how has the difference been ah, I was supervised in Canada <laughs> <laughs> um, never mind that <laughs> um, yeah my level of management wasn't too great okay yeah, but I mean I had I put in work yeah. you know because of one you know I just yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you. There, people in. are constant. Yeah. yeah, people are always constant mm. on your case. And yeah, what I noticed also, what do they call them? Like appraisals. Their yeah. mm. performance. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, performance is constant. Yeah. So they, they don't give you room to slack. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah, that's something we have had to um, incorporate. Yeah, to incorporate. Uh -huh. uh, we also have to get better at it because we get so lost doing so Other many things. Other things. Yeah. 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 This yeah. department. This. this uh, and then appraisal time comes and like the month has passed and no one has been. Yeah. yeah. So for us at work, that kept us on our toes. Like mm -hmm. you know, yeah. in a month they're going to re review how we're working see how you're doing. and stuff like yeah. that. And, and my job we used to set goals. Even they would make us set personal like outside of yeah. the That's like, really yeah. nice. And they would check in on those things. So Yes. Yeah. yeah. yeah one one of my friends always says that. Canada is like a country that can literally govern itself or just run by itself. Yeah. And I, I feel like it makes sense to me because they just have um, processes and systems and, and also, you know, there's also like a culture about it where... Like a work culture. A work culture where people, <laughs> they do not want bad work on yeah. their name. 
at all, really? at all. So, like, when I was working in, in the corporate job, um, I, I didn't, like, supervise many people or anything, but at some point, it didn't matter. The hierarchy didn't matter. Yeah. It was just, like, everybody, do your best. Yes. And, you know, it's such a results-oriented um, kind of environment where yeah. it's, like, if, 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 if I work four days in a week, um, at the end of the week, what's, you know, they're just going to look at, okay, what were you supposed to achieve this week? Has yeah. it been done? Yeah. Like it's result like it's not so like you know. Okay, where's Abe the last two days kind of thing? Yeah, like it's so not micro and, and people, managing in that side. Yeah, and it kind of works both ways. Yeah, it does. Um, people are just so hell bent on getting things. Yes. Out. Whereas here, I, I think it's just the, you're, there are many things at play. There's culture. There's this education. There is the type of management, right? There, there's styles of management that, that just also don't, don't work. work. <laughs> so I've, I've found that here, like now that I've been here for two years, I have a lot more empathy for the people that we work with yes. because you just never know what background they come from. Yes. Yes. I'm talking about like like parenthood, yes. you know, the institution. So. Yep whether it's like the schools, hospitals, All church, that. whatever it is, you just don't know where people are coming from. So when you just try and come apply All know, of these trainings and principles, yeah. it's like you have to take a step back and, and say, okay, if it's not working, why? Why, why is it not yeah. working? Just so that you can contextualize like what you're up against. Yes, you yes. Know? So it's, it's the, the culture plays a big role. That's like very people well are very laid back. Very well, very like, laid back. Like people don't hear messing up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, you know, life goes on. <laughs> they do not at they're, all. They're actually, which sometimes I co like, it's I commend them because like we then also living in Canada, we have so much anxiety. Like yeah. Everything is like, you know, but then, like up, but up then, here. And then like someone will mess up here and then they'll look at me like, why are you so stressed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Usually the other day, like we're things. doing renos at our dad's place yeah. and they, you know, broke a few tiles and they had to put back something that matches. Mm. It didn't match at all. <laughs> like he felt like it could be like, it's the it's same. Okay. I'm like, no, it's actually not the same. <laughs> we were like, dude, this town has the same. Oh, it kills me. Like, these ones are old. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you, you know Don't that worry. he's not that incompetent. Yeah. He knows. And he, he could have also asked care. first, yeah. but yeah. instead he he's, did he it. He just doesn't <laughs> care. He's like, hopefully it'll be fine. If it's not, oh, I guess we'll just, we'll just do, do it again, again. tomorrow. But they, you know? it's, for me, maybe because it's so drilled in us yeah. abroad, like time is money. Time yeah. is money. So yeah. here, when they do those things, and I'm like, my time is money, and they just yeah. don't. They're like, but, but you have much. Oh, but no. but having said all of that, we also have to talk about the benefit of, of working in UG. Like, yeah. yeah, there's so like, There's not much. much negotiation you can do in Canada. No. Like, yeah. There's no it is room. what it is. <laughs> Whatever you see, <laughs> this is the is what you're, yeah. But here it's like, you, know, you can make yeah. things work nice. a lot it's more. Nice yeah. I remember yeah. when I would be talking to my mom on the phone, she would be saying, like telling me a problem here yeah, or something that went wrong and I would have my quick solution from, yes. from what I'm experiencing. Yeah. No, just do this. No, just, and she'd yeah. be laughing. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's cute. way to work here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah. I, I never used to get it. And now yeah. when she'd be like, Phyllis, I need help, blah blah blah. And I'll be like, I keep it's so giving simple, you, like, yeah. I keep telling you, do this, do this, do this. Now that I'm here, oh, you're like, never yeah, mind. Humbling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that's never Humbling. Uh, yeah, that's one of the reasons. An example is like our dad, like, he, he used to visit often, right? Like, okay, okay. There. So yeah. he would order like some clothes and stuff like that. So one time he needed a shirt. So he ordered it, um, and he wanted us to come back with it, right? Okay. But it was such short notice, it was like one or two days. And I remember telling him that, um, yeah, they, they ordered it, but they might have to ship it from another store kind of thing. And they just, it might take five days. He's like, no, 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 tell them I have a function. Like, oh, so because you have a function, All that's what's going to <laughs> speed up. But in UG, Set the I tell you, I have a function. You better get three people <laughs> to work on this shirt, and, and it better yeah. be here by noon. Hey, so sure, that's, that's so true. We, and it's weird. It's like, I, I feel like we live a life of convenience in that sense, yeah. but then also don't. But I like yeah. this part of convenience. Yeah. Where maybe things will happen quick, quick, but there's always a way you can yeah. Yeah. kind of figure it out. Yeah, no one's going to tell me to wait five days for yeah. a shirt. Yeah, <laughs> <No. laughs>
I wanted to speak about them because um, you had mentioned something about hier hierarchies. One thing that I noticed in Canada, like the workspace was so like chill and laid back. Yeah. There's no like that's my boss. Like they they are your boss, yes. but the relationship was you won't know. Yeah, that's and very true. When I, I noticed even just coming here, everyone is so tense around me because of the boss. Yeah. Yes. And one thing I wish we, which again goes back to like their background, like schools, institutions, all of those. You cannot build a laid back culture in someone who has been uh, raised, say, as a Catholic, as a whichever yes. institution. Yes. They will always have be tense. Yes. To me, I feel like. If I'm tense, I can't do my best work. Me neither, so, so, so I'm working people. with people. Yeah. So <laughs> you literally see someone is serving something simple, but because she's serving me, the boss, the thing's all over the place. Yes. And I'm just yeah. like, oh I my know. God, I know. Know. it's, I know. Good. it's like, okay. That level of, I know, we had a, so, even like, because I served for so long, yeah. our rapport with our bosses was so oh, lax, yeah. but yeah. we still had a respect, respect and yeah. they wanted it that way because they were like, your personality will you bring us more money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, yeah, yeah, be yeah. you, be free. But yeah. I think, like you said, it's not even, it's beyond training. Yeah. No matter how yeah. much you train, if someone, yeah. it's instilled from mm -hmm. three years old, two yeah. years old. Yeah. I remember, <laughs> like, even like my boss of two levels up mm -hmm. wouldn't mind saying, I don't know. Like, yeah. you know this, like you're the technical person, but here it's like, feel the pressure to have this facade, like you've got it all figured out <laughs> just because you're the boss. No, really, I don't know. <laughs> I know, and it's you know? weird, like even when I used to ask for feedback from employees in Uganda, I'd be like, so what do you think? Yeah. And then it'd be like, very quiet, very whatever, and I'm like, no, but you feel free to say whatever, yeah. what is your opinion? And it's like, it's... It's, they're scared yeah. essentially, but I don't. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't grow up here, so I didn't yeah. <laughs> realize why. But you're right. Institutions we were empowered to speak. Yes. Up. Like you yeah. have to say what you agree with, what you don't agree with, what you can do better. But here, even if he has the best idea, ever, yeah, he'll keep. He's it. going to keep it. That's how companies yeah. make money. Is through yeah. their employees giving back. Yeah. Giving back one one idea. thing my dad taught me um, this is this thing called functional authority yes. which is like even if I'm the director mm. if I have a supervisor if I have like you know a head chef I have a you know, marketing lead yeah. you are you have the authority of that function and the reason I've employed you is because that's you your are expertise that, ex yes. so even if I sit in a room and I don't understand half the technical terms you're using yes um it doesn't mean that I can't supervise yes, you, right? Because yes. you, you, uh, the director is sure responsible for well. like, you yeah. know, the direction of the company and, yes. and things like that. You guys touched on so many amazing things, especially for those who A, are considering a 50-50 life of Canada yeah. versus you got the plausibility of yeah. it, um, as well as people who literally have uh, family businesses, or just even it may not be a business, but you have things that your family may own or things you're interested in owning and realizing that like there's a there's a bit of things that you have to consider before <laughs> jumping into it uh, but what advice or what would you recommend for people who are in North America who are um, interested in coming back or have to necessarily come back to take over a family business or start their own <laughs> For me, I think the one thing that worked well for me was to gradually increase how, like, how much I came here and also focus on that part of my life. So when I started to come here between 2017 and 2020, I came to work. I came to, to see how life was going to be. More intentional. Just observe how I'm going to move around and all of that stuff. Um, rather than before, it was really coming for other Yes, so, of course. So, like, coming home, look at what's happening, where am I going to live. Of course, for me, yes. I was coming back to live with my dad. But for those people who are living out, like, are not going to be living with family, is to really plan all that yes, when you get here. Right. Because the other day I was in game wanted to buy folks you know mainstay yes. from walmart walmart yes yes <laughs> it was four times the price. Right. Like, honestly. and it's so weird game will either just side though game will either have it like almost the same or yeah. some ridiculous like exactly. different so i don't even know who's yeah. the supply from but. so for me the, the financial bit of it i think yes 
I ended up using more of my savings because I didn't plan on the whole. That was me too. Oh, yeah, like you didn't yeah. plan for even shipping things back home. Yes. Start saving for that container is, uh, or that shipping fee. Yeah. In otherwise, it will take a dip, a big dip. Yeah. Count Huge and dip. Like, yeah. You're like yeah. dying yeah. factor yeah. that in. Those things that you don't think about because you're like yeah. I found a job. I know where I'm going to work. I know where I'm going to do this. Yeah. Blah, blah. And then the financial of it starts oh, happening it's like I feel like if people need like a spreadsheet yeah like pre-moving yeah. during yeah. moving post moving yeah. <laughs> because even things like I had to spend so much on like skincare yeah you know, all that oh because God, I know yes. it's going to be like four times the price here yeah. right. but I, I don't need to be buying face full face wash four toners yes. because that ends up five hundred dollars and yes. you're just like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very true. Plan, plan every, yeah. Detail. every detail. Yeah, I think you you used the word which was intentional. Yeah. And I, I'm going to say something that I definitely did not do um, <laughs> because for me, like my circumstance was that I thought I, I still had one or two years left in uh, me in, in okay. Canada, uh-huh. but because of the pressure over here with my dad and the business, yeah. I kind of had to like you know wrap things up pretty mm. quickly. Um, so I would, in hindsight, I would say like intention is everything yep. because once you if you really say to yourself you know 2023 i want to make that move, yes. then you will do every you'll work backwards everything, right like from yeah. finances <laughs> to you know where you're going to stay where you're going to live do you want to move back and maybe live with your family first are you that kind of person or are you that kind of person who needs your place like all those things yeah. you kind of need to be intentional about yeah. and then also <clears throat> So we grew up here, um, and we've always been comfortable with UG. We've known UG, yeah. But that's not for everyone. Some people like you go away, and you become an adult somewhere else, yeah. And you see a different way of society. And then when you move back, it just it's doesn't just work for you, right? Too, yeah. So move like doing some trips back and forth, engaging huge, yourself huge in, in like. Um, whether it's work or community, whatever it is, like yeah. just to see what it's like to interact with people mm-hmm. and make a living, then from those trips you might then think, because like yeah. for us, like the first three weeks were like, uh, and then, yeah. then we're back in motion. <laughs> back in right? motion. Like, for me it was definitely longer than three and weeks. And then you go back because you're like, I can't do <laughs> yeah. this. Right? So it's, you, you, one, you have to have intention. Yes. Two is, you know, do, Whenever you visit, um, one thing we used to do, like when we were in undergrad, we just come, go out. And yeah, so right. we didn't really know what it meant to to pay someone to do a task or to supervise someone. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't know those pains of of, of, of what it means to work. Yeah, yes, yes. And I say pains, but also like you also have to adapt. Yes. Right? Like I, have, I haven't changed who I am, but you have to adapt, adapt the way yeah, you yeah. interact. No matter with where you go. You, you, <laughs> so, so yeah. So intention and you know doing a few trips and yeah to make something of it. Like, I always tell people that I'm like, don't just pick up and leave and come. I did that, but <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't. But but that. you still at least yeah. you knew environment enough because of a That's obviously true. growing yeah. up, but it yeah. still was a significant change. Like yeah. even when I first started coming to Uganda in 2013 as an adult by myself, like no parents, not as going you know, on family trips just by myself. Like from now, like 2013 to what 2021 is a big difference. Yeah. We have Uber, for example. Yeah. We have like yeah. so yeah. many little things to factor in, like more malls and things that you can access things with but anyway it's, it's just the drastic changes so like i would say like try to come back beforehand yeah, yeah. i didn't plan though i'll give you guys that i just kind of yeah. was just thrown into this yeah. it's a bit much yeah. <laughs> i think i would like just touch on i think we spoke about this the other day is that if you have the opportunity to get like your paperwork residence yeah, yeah. 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 Free church. <laughs> do it, do it, and that's what made our yeah, extended it a, made it a bit longer than we expected. Yes. Um, and it's one, not one of those things that you see the benefits today, but um, like if you have the opportunity to be able to do places, yes, why not? Yeah. I feel like it saves you in the long run. Yeah. 
especially like for example, uh, just even for example, just travel. Yeah. Like traveling on a Canadian passport throughout Africa is the worst. Yeah. <laughs> like everywhere, visa, visa, visa. If you have a Ugandan passport, yeah. they're like, come on in, no yeah. problem. Yeah. So things like that, or even like you on the got flip your side. Dual. Yeah, I got my dual yeah. now. Finally, yeah. I'm getting my passport tomorrow. So like I won't have those problems. Yeah. Even like flip. Like right now we're single, so it doesn't matter. But when you have kids. It'll be cheaper to, for them to go to school in Canada, like stuff like yeah. that. I like, think people need to, yeah. If you could do yeah. dual, do dual. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys are almost done with your process yeah. anyway. So. Yeah, Maybe hopefully a couple more months. Yay, yeah. that's amazing. <laughs> Congrats on Philippa that. Is, is done now. Yeah. Done, done. Yeah, yeah. Full Canadian. Yeah, cool. <laughs> that's amazing. Maple Leaf. Yeah. <laughs> Drake, Maple Leaf, all those things. So for those who are specifically interested in the food industry, what advice would you give them? Um, a, if they're trying to start a new business or they're maybe taking over something like your, your situation. Um, coming from Canada? Yeah, coming or, from, coming from uh, Canada, okay. yes. So, Actually, like, I could also be here, but anyway, more so coming from, from yeah. North America. <laughs> um, I would say one thing that I wish I had done more is be in the service industry more. Mm. So, like I had mentioned before, yes. and it's not just our establishment, like so many people places don't have the capacity to continuously train you yes but i think if you have the opportunity to work as a server um, i did it a bit in switzerland but it was in school okay so i wish i had continued um, mm. uh, that life but to get that on ground training, training yes. um because they will train you there. yes and, they really and will. it's so much information that you can bring here so mm. much um Things that will make your business more efficient yes. to really understand like the service industry yeah. or even if you're going to be a chef anything just if you can get a job there um the tips are great yeah they are <laughs> and they're better <laughs> when you like know all these things yeah. you learn how to yeah. Yeah. And it's also for me what's a little bit overwhelming is my personality is not like i don't want to talk to everybody i'm not so chipper and stuff yeah. like that i wish i would have gone in uh, gotten okay. that kind of experience to at least really? bring that yeah. out okay um yeah i think for me that's the experience yeah, that that experience. more experience in it that's very good but i think my answer will probably be from what i have seen that our mom was able to do and you know before before she passed you know, hospitality has always been seen as like a revolving door kind of industry where it's like, yeah, you can come serve six months yeah, and then go you somewhere go. <laughs> else. Which, which is, it's the norm. Yeah. But one thing that she managed to do, which definitely did not come, you know, by, by a lack of effort, she, she was intentional. Yes. She said, you know, career growth and training is going to be the pinnacle yes. of, of this hospitality yes. industry That's for really her. Good, yeah. So, like I said to you, there's like people who've been here for 10 years and, and whatnot. Yeah. And it makes such a big difference. Um, I can tell you, like, most of the people in our kitchen, you know, started off as stewards, stewards of the, the, the public cleaners and oh, that okay. kind of thing. And then some of them then moved on to become like, like baristas or supervisors, like that kind of thing. So, you know, it's very easy in, in our industry to always go out and recruit. Yes. But she managed to create this environment. A anyone comes in at whatever whatever level, yes, I kind of they, they feel like this, there's somewhere they can go. Yeah. And we always talk about it. Like, I don't want you to serve for 10 years. Right, yes. You know? you want to if you really want to, you can do that. Yeah. But if you can serve and then take advantage of like the, the training and the career yeah. that, that we, we try to like you know make the foundation of this place yeah then you become a supervisor that's very and true. from there like a branch manager so she did that successfully yeah, so the pressure is on us to yeah, sustain that because at the end of the day like work is work like yeah. there's going to be you know you know some challenges yeah with being able to manage like 100 staff right? yeah like across three branches yes. um but she made like an obvious commitment to i want my people like there's a certain culture that i want yes. and i am going to train i'm going to you know she was like a strong christian you know, and she just had this way of 
encouraging you with, with her Christian values. Without making you feel like oh, yeah, you're like, listening. Yeah. You know, she just, you, it, it, and so many people still tell us till this yeah. day, like, yes. oh, I'm not a believer, but what your mom did for me. Yeah. Yeah. So she had that intention. So for people, um, I guess it cuts across even other industries, not just the food and beverage. Yes. Food and beverage, because it's hospitality, make, take the extra effort to like create a culture where people want to come to work yes. because it's already a tough industry they know with customers right a paying customer is key yes. right so you know create an environment where they feel comfortable they contribute they can actually like you know improve the business and yeah. everything so easier said than done but it's something but it's that i think achievable. we want to yeah, okay. yeah. that's amazing that's really good right? well on that note thank you guys so so much for literally spilling the knowledge just wanted to touch on a few things of course cafe pub like what you guys offer and then also the juices if you guys can just go into that a little bit and where they can find you as well oh, <laughs> so we had mentioned we are shell in tinga parliament avenue um opposite what? Uh, farmers house opposite farmers house and then garden city opposite um mtf actually right next to mtf and then yeah so we launched jolly juicery in 2018 2019 Oh yeah, sorry, 2019. Um, after, was a tribute to my mom. Um, that's, her, her name was Johnny. So that's why it's called Johnny Dissery. Um, so it's a line of cold pressed juice. Um, we have a machine that you put the fruit in, uh, presses, it's a hydraulic press, and then uh, extracts all the like, water and yeah. all of that from the juices. Uh, we don't add sugar, we don't, everything no, here is pure like, turmeric, spinach. Literally the benefits of Uganda yes. too, because you know it's going to be It has taken people through COVID. <laughs> That's yeah. amazing. It has taken people through COVID, I'm very proud of that. That's amazing. God has his way. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, but um, it's a project that was, we're passionate about it because it's for her, um, of course, she she had cancer, so nutrition and, and yeah, health is something so that is very important for my family. Yes, yes. So we want to expand it, obviously, to grow into different products. Um, and then we have Ihamba. Yeah, so we we also have a Humba Lakeside Safari Lodge, the inside Queen Elizabeth. Um, it's a safari lodge that um, has also been under our ownership since 2012. Um, we have 10 beautiful cottages, so feel free to come and visit. I'm definitely visit going to. <laughs> nice. Thank you guys so, so much. Oh, and you can also find them on Instagram. You do, do, do deliveries as well throughout yeah. Kampala. Yeah, so all the information will be in the description box below. Thank you guys again so, so Thank much. So much <laughs> i let you guys get us. back to your busy <laughs> restaurant. Um, you. Like always, guys, please do remember to subscribe, hit the bell notification button, and I'll check you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>